I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. Chances for scattered thunderstorms linger through tonight as additional disturbances slide east behind that slow-moving cold front. A few of the storms could be strong to severe from the Tri-Cities to eastern Nebraska and over Kansas. The threats through the early evening include quarter-sized hail and wind gusts up to 60. Thunderstorm chances diminish from northwest to southeast from the middle of this evening through the overnight. Our highs tomorrow are once again expected to be seasonal in the low to mid-70s. A building rich of high pressure results in dry weather tomorrow through Saturday. The warmest days in the next week are Friday through the weekend with highs reaching into the 80s. Occasional thunderstorm chances returning by Saturday night through early next week. Right now, some of those better chances are Monday evening through Tuesday morning. Daytime highs drop back into the 70s for Monday into early next week. In the long-term forecast for the early to middle of next week, Nebraska temperatures are likely to be seasonal or near normal. Kansas expected to be slightly warmer than normal. Late next week through the Tuesday after Memorial Day on May 28th, Nebraska temperatures are slightly cooler than normal, and Kansas temperatures indicated to be seasonal. Above normal rainfall is indicated for Nebraska and Kansas Monday through May 28th, especially the early to middle of next week, and across central and eastern areas late next week through May 28th. Soil temperatures 4 inches deep this morning is 7, mostly in the mid to upper 50s. Low 60s for soil temperatures were found over west central to central Kansas. Key weather factors driving the markets include active weather continuing for the U.S. and Canada, including a chance of a more consistent storm track through the Corn Belt, more wet weather in Western Europe, continued dry weather in the Black Sea region and central Brazil, and flooding in southern Brazil. A storm moving through the southern plains poses a threat of strong to severe storms and flash flooding over the next few days as it moves across the lower Mississippi Valley. Three-day rainfall of greater than an inch is forecast from the southeastern plains and western Gulf Coast into the Appalachians. A bounce greater than four inches are possible from east Texas to southern Alabama. The lingering rain likely to maintain a fairly slow pace of corn and soybean planting in the Midwest and parts of the plains. In Rio Grande do Sul of far southern Brazil, flooding continues with heavy rain expected tomorrow and Friday. The rain moves north into southern Brazil's second crop corn areas this weekend, but does not make it to central Brazil's second crop corn areas that are hot and dry. Across Argentina, harvest progress is increasing, though the colder temperatures producing frost are not good for late developing crops or newly planted winter wheat. Western Europe crop areas of the UK and France remain too wet, and more rain is expected next week. Towards the Black Sea region, rain the next few days in far southern Russia and southeastern Ukraine is benefit for the drier soils. Frost in central Russia and some of eastern Ukraine and southern Russia may have caused limited damage to the wheat crop. There could be some better news in the Black Sea region with warmer temperatures this weekend and a chance of rain next week. With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.